Alright hey everybody, this is the Enforcer 1 here, showing you how to get Windows 7 Unlimited, that works. I'm making this video because I've been to a lot of other different videos and I was trying to find mine, and almost none of them worked. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, first you're going to want to open up your web browser, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use Safari. Um, all the links are going to be for PC and Mac. So just follow along. All right, first you want to go go to your torrent site because it's the only way to get Windows 7 right now. And for Mac, you want to go and get uTorrent, which is available at this site. It'll be in the description, so don't worry. So after you go here, you're gonna to want to go to this one where it's a. It's also gonna be in there. It's gonna be under Windows 7. And then your page should look exactly like this. You're going to go to down, download this torrent, bam, you're going to be done. Um, one thing about this one is it might come unlocked, it might not. It came unlocked for me, but not for my friend. So I'm going to show you a neat little tool that will help you unlock it. This was also going to be in the description. It is going to be called Windows 7 Activator. You type this in. It's going to be pretty self-explanatory when you open it up. It should do everything for you. Alright. So, when you get all this stuff, it's going to take a while to download. I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to go through all that trouble doing it myself. But to show you that this does work, I'm going to start it up for you right now. That's just because I took the desk out. It should start out normally though. It takes a minute here to start up. Just bear with me. Well, while that's starting up, I will show you something else. Another thing, if you want to burn this to a disk, I got you there too. This will also be in the description. For Mac, it's going to be Dragon Burner. This is the demo, it's not for free, you only get 10 uses, but I doubt you're going to use it 10 times on this one thing. And then for Windows, it's also going to be stuck there in the description. Sorry, my computer froze up a little there. So that's when you want to put it on the disk. All right, here we go. So I'll start it up. Take a minute here. One downside to Windows 7, it does take an awful while to load. Alright, well I guess while that is uh, still booting up there, I'll show you how to set it up in your virtual machine. If you don't burn it to the disk, you're probably not going to want to burn it to the disk yet. You just drag it to your desktop. You're going to want to push continue without disk. This will probably with, be with any virtual machine you use, or if you don't use a virtual machine, I'll get to that later. You want to hit continue without gist, then you're going to want to install it from an image file, because that's what's going to be downloading, the image file. And go to your desktop, find out where you saved it, I put it in my OS's, and there you go. Windows 7 activated. Continue. Alright, you're going to want to do it as Windows 7 Server 2008 if you don't have a Windows 7 choice on your virtual machine. Continue. Alright, right here, since you got the Windows 7 activator, or it might just activate itself, you're just going to want to uncheck easy install. Don't even have to bother with this. I'm going to hit continue. Then, after you customize all your settings, I gave mine a gig of memory, 40. Ooh, that was it starting right now. You want to hit finish. It's going to make it for you.
All right, well, here it is. It's Windows 7. Still reloading again. All right, now back to what I was saying before. If you're going to run it off disk, you're just going to put it in your disk. It's going to read it for you. No matter what virtual machine you have, you're just going to hit continue. You're going to make your settings that way. Once again, if it gives you the choice for the unlock code or cheat cane, the, the, just the unlock code for it, you can just skip that because I gave you the tool to activate it without one of those. Even, it, and once again, it might not, it might just come activated like mine did. Alright, so you want to hit that. And there you go. You got Windows 7. All nice and pretty. Just a couple things. You know, different from Windows Vista, you got this little neat board there. Pretty much the same start menu. And it's going to take about mm, 30 minutes to load completely. That's uh, what it loaded for me. But, yeah, no, it's worth it. You can brag to your friends that you have Windows 7 and you got it for free and you didn't spend 200 bucks on it. So, you know, if you have any questions, you know, just hit me up. I'll include my email in the description. Uh, please comment, subscribe, you know, and thanks for watching.